What's up my turtles, I'm Close Turtle, and I'm back for another video. It has been a little while, but I'm busy, and I finally got to the time, and I'm doing a top 48 Smash characters, that's why I'm on Smash Bros. And, so yeah, I'm gonna split this into parts, because it's 48 freaking characters. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys are ready, and just to note, this is my opinion, so you guys can hate on whatever else, but this is only my opinion, and only mine. I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, this uh, this guy's better. I like the characters I like, and that's that. So let's start with number 48, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna play a match with the characters. Robin is number 48, and for good reason too. Actually, I'm gonna set some rules up so I can do this a bit easier. Sorry about the finger thing, but uh, stage random omega form. There we go. Robin is my least favorite character in Smash, not because Crom didn't get in or some other Fire Emblem character didn't get in. But because I don't like his speed. He's one of the slowest heavy hitting characters with like no fast and no with no real fast attack. And that is Robin's flaw. Like Donkey Kong hits like a truck. Now Robin has his powers and everything, but they just don't match up. They just do not match up with other heavy character strength. And that's why I get really bothered whenever I have to end up, like, getting him on rail. Oh my god, can you let go of my head, baby? Baby. Wait. Let go of my head! Let go of my head! And also, he's just way too heavy for the likings of me. He's one of the slowest characters besides, like, Ganondorf, I'm pretty sure, Bowser. But those guys hit a lot harder. Like... I mean, the least you could have done was made Robin better. What's even worse is that he loses his sword. His amazing sword and goes to this stupid thing. And, like, smash attack fail, you know? So, I mean, that's why I put Robin at 48 on my list. But the final smash doesn't get points for including Kramen, who I did want to be in Smash. But sadly, Mewtwo will not be on this list. I do not have him yet, but I will get him soon. Let's get to number 47. Olimar is number 47, and, uh, yeah, don't really like Olimar. And, um, mostly because I'm not really one of those projectile fighters, especially when he's only projectile fighter. And all of his attacks rely on his Pikmin. Like, if you don't have his Pikmin, you're gonna die. And, uh, if you do have his Pikmin, his recovery is terrible. Now, of course, these Pikmin love to get thrown, but when they die, you're pretty much screwed, you know? And Almar has to get them back, and like, ugh. I just do not like Olimar. And his smash attacks include them too. It's like, really, do we need this? Do we need Olimar in the game? I mean, he's really only two inches tall for, for, uh, let's be real here. He's actually only two inches tall. So, yeah. And like, look at his smash attack. I just tried to use it, and it does not work. <clears throat> die. Could, could, you, could you die? Could you die? Yes! Here we go! See, he's not easy to use. I did like how they added Alf as an extra, like, character kind of skin thing. That is pretty cool, but other than that, I really don't like Olimar. Not my favorite. This number, this next will be, uh, surprising, I guess. Some people. Number 46 is Pac-Man. Alright, so, yeah. Really good idea, um, when adding Pac-Man. But his moveset... I mean, it's pretty okay. And then, especially, like, it coming from his games, his Final Smash is also pretty nice since it's, like, him. But I think that Bandai Namco should have, could have done a better idea. I mean, like, a fire hydrant, really? Since when has he used a fire hydrant? I love the reference to the, to the Namco games, but I don't think that we needed um, Pac-Man. I would have preferred some other character. Because I don't like Pac-Man as much, I guess. And his moveset's pretty okay. I mean, for Pac-Man, it's pretty good. Could this, could this guy just stop? Is he, gonna, is he gonna go away now? Like, I just don't like Pac-Man as a character. Because of, like, he's not my style. He's one of those, like, really gimmicky characters. Oh, okay. And he's not a character with a playing style that I like. I like the smash attacks, including the ghost, though. Oh, that's pretty cool. Remember, I was like, where are the other two? How are they going to incorporate that in one down smash? So I was like, oh, wait. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> but yeah. That's really all I have to say. 58 second thing of me saying what I don't like Pac-Man that much. Alright, number 45. I'm hitting on all the like, characters on the bottom. We Fit Trainer, though. Yeah, We Fit Trainer. Really, Nintendo? Really? You added this and took away Wolf? What do you... It, look, it's a, it's like a mannequin. So he's my assist trophy. Like, this thing's creepy as... Like, I would never... I would get nightmares because of this thing. This thing would give me nightmares. Oh! Oh! Ugh. That's all I have to say about this thing. This thing just... Ugh. And we Fit Trainer isn't even that good in general. I mean, it's just one of those trainer people who are supposed to apparently help you. It, her attacks are kind of slow slash his attacks, but yeah. This next one I know everybody's going to hate me for, but number 44, I put Diddy Kong. I don't like Diddy Kong. Ever since he appeared in Mario Kart, um, I didn't like him. <laughs> I just don't like Diddy Kong. Everybody's like, oh my god, Diddy Kong OP. But I don't like this guy. I mean, he's fast, and he's. I like to play as him, but not all the time. And everybody's like, oh my god, Diddy Kong. Everybody's like, oh my god, why are you Diddy Kong? It's so annoying. And when people are Diddy Kong, they're so annoying with him. That might be also part of my hate. Along with I don't like the fact that he's really light. That probably, like, since he's the number one character, I can understand that. But I just don't like Diddy Kong. I mean, really? A peanut? He's a monkey, not an elephant. I mean, dude. Sting is a monkey, not an elephant. We all have to remember that. So why why are they chasing after peanuts? Why do they, why does he want peanuts? Why the oh okay, bye. Pfft, I'm dead. <laughs> and see, I lose with him because I don't I, I just don't like no. Diddy Kong, you die, die in a fire, and I hope he never comes back in Smash. I don't. I don't want him to be here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, if they're gonna do anything, bring in Funky Kong or Dixie Kong or something, please, just take this abomination out of my face. Now let's go right to 30, 30, 43. It's Duck Hunt. This character's a dog and a duck. I understand it originates from a game, but it's a pretty cool character gimmicky, though, and I, I don't like gimmick characters. And look at this thing. A, a can, an explosive can. An explosive can. And then, uh, you know, the duck. And actually, his recovery move leaves you vulnerable to any attack if you so happen to get launched. To get, like, hit with it. Oh, God. No, no. Dang it. Yeah. I mean, that's a cool attack, though. I don't even know what it does, but it's pretty cool. I can just say that. But overall, Duck Hunt was not one of my first picks when I started to play the game. I was like, wait, what? Why is there a duck and a dog? Who the heck is this? I like how they did that at least. Like, I have nothing else to really say. Besides the fact that I don't like the dog. But yeah, he's a pretty good character overall. And very difficult to um, battle if against on level 9. And the final smash is pretty creative. I like it. But other than that, he's not my favorite. And, uh, Mazzy, I'm about to take away a whole other section of characters here. Because, at number 42... Yep, it's Fox! Yeah! Ugh. I remember when Melee... What the heck is that? Oh, something else. I'm notification on my phone. But yeah, I remember when Fox and Falco were the most overpowered characters because of Melee. Like, they were on top tier like Marth was. But, I, I can understand that, but they really, like, took away Fox's mojo in Brawl. Also, he has the fa one of the fastest falling speeds ever, and dies fast. Like, that's not, not a character I want to play as. I'm a character who dies extremely fast, like, 90% can get launched off by, like, an, like, a Sheik's attack. Although, I do like how his bat, like, is fast. And I, <laughs> I love the baseball bat so much. But yeah, 
Fox, ugh, a little too light for me, and a little too, uh, um, a little too bad in my opinion to put lower on the list. Now we get to number 41. The exact clone of Fox. I mean, I like Falco more than Fox because he's a little bit, um, heavier and has a less fast falling speed and I just like, his gun does a bit more damage but I would have preferred Wolf and he would have been a lot higher on this list. Also, uh, Falco's smash attacks do a lot better than, uh, Fox's. Like, I mean, Fox is up and Falco's side. That, that, that's good. I mean, I, I just wombo comboed Pit off the edge. Wow. But that's how you can combo with Falco. But other than that, I mean, he's almost a clone of Fox. And that's why I put him basically where Fox is on the list. So, yeah. Let's get to number 40. Dark Pit. It's a clone of Pit with a few different attacks. Like, the Electroshock arm just has a different angle. And his arrows, like, they, they don't curve as much. And he has a different colored bow, yeah. Other than that, he's basically the same exact thing. Why would you do that, Nintendo? I don't know. I mean, look at this. This is the exact same thing. Just, just, just why? We already have Palutena. I mean, she's, she's a wannabe Zelda. I mean, honestly, I like her better than Zelda, but... <laughs> Because she's uh, another um, Kid Icarus rep, but not a clone. Like, we don't need another clone, do we? His final smash is nice, though, but it's basically Zelda's again. Kid Icarus just really loves Zelda today. Oh, God, I did that on purpose. See, I did it on purpose. Now, Shulk is trying to kill me. But, yeah, I just... It's... Why? Why a clone of Pit? In all honesty, why would we make a clone of Pit? I already don't like Pit as it is. Pit bothers me because my friend would play as him and he'd be the most annoying person ever with him. Blah! But, yeah. That's another reason why I hate Pit, but not as much as Dark Pit. And apparently, ja uh, Japan likes Pit more. Because <laughs> um, of the tears that they came up with. So, yeah. As I, just, I actually forgot to say the number. Number 39 is actually Zelda. I was just talking about her, and I think he's, she's only good for that recovery move slash, like, counterattack. Other than that, eh, I don't like her as much. Because I, whenever in Brawl I play, it's, it's, whenever I got Zelda, I'd switch to Sheik immediately. And then be like, hey, and then, now I'm like, why, why do you exist? Why do they separate you? I actually, I'm going to say I preferred them together. Because I love playing as Sheik, but then, like, when they don't expect it, I just become Zelda right away. It's like, hey, did you expect...